friends welcome to my channel again welcome to Tudel Tech TV for those who are really new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share today video we're gonna talk about the damn variable web application what is it exactly let's get started anybody who want to get started with ethical hacking or want to advance the skill in penetration testing we need a platform to practice whatever they learn using the various security tools available performing penetration tests on a system without administrative permission is considered illegal and can land you to a huge trouble including jail time or a really massive fund to pay Practice your skill, make it perfect. But then, where do you practice hacking skill? There are so many platforms available that you can use to practice penetration testing. The DEM variable web application was actually developed with PHP and MySQL. Yes, it's intentionally developed to be vulnerable. Or which are to help security professionals to test their skill and tool in a legal environment. It also help web developers or any professional to better understand the processes of security web application and also helping teacher or student to teach or learn web application security in a classroom environment. But we'll be really careful because the damn variable web application is damn variable, which is mean don't upload it to your hosting provider public HTML folder or any internet facing server as they will be compromised. I can assure you for that. It's really recommend using virtual machines such as VirtualBox or VMware. For my experience, it's a great platform for both beginners and skill since you have an option to set the desired security level, low, medium, high or impossible. It's also a great resource for web developers who wish to develop web applications with security in mind. So let's get started now and uh, we're going to start everything from the installation to the end of it. So let's go for it. So first you need to go to Google and look for the DVWA. So it's going to take you directly to the official website which is uh, uh, dvwa.co.uk. So once you're there, just Try to take your time to read again to understand what's going on, how to use it, and uh, check the definition. See if it's something you're looking for to use. Remember, use the VMware or the virtual machine as this can be very dangerous. So, wave around, check it around, and go to the GitHub and to see more information about the actual D. DVWA. The installation now is explained properly, but before installing on Windows, you need XAM. XAM is actually is the most popular PHP development uh, uh, environment, which is Apache uh, PHP Perlone. So once you install it, in my case, I was already install it. So make sure you download it and save it in your desktop. Make sure you got my SQL on, Apache on, and the PHP on. That's more important.
then click just next to make sure that everything is going smoothly and you're waiting for the installation to be ready so once you're really happy about the installation which is you're gonna see pretty much finished see a dashboard pop up and once it's pop up make sure you start the apache and also my sql database so as you can see on the screen on the top you will see the two options which is apache and mysql just click on it and see the reaction and then the next thing is going to be the mysql so once both of them are really ready then we're going to go to the next step go to your local host to see if the screen is going to appear which is can explain you exactly what you did install the version is 8.0.11 from my download to ensure that everything is installed properly go to your local uh, root uh, directory and make sure you see the this folder explained here so you're gonna see all this and really delete it to create a new one so you're gonna see how it's gonna create automatically when you go to local host you will see that this previous screen is not gonna appear no more the second step is now to download the DVWA. So make sure you download it in a proper somewhere you know what you're gonna download because in my case it's already installed and download. So make sure you copy all the file as you can see from the right to the left as exactly the folder I show on my example. So just follow the step and follow everything I've done and uh, you see the result later on once it's done you're gonna be in a local host and see that error message is gonna come up there so just ignore that message which is telling you that something goes wrong so follow the step and follow what exactly you're gonna do to avoid that message to happen again so you just need to rename it the file just remove the last part and uh, everything's gonna be happy chappy Once you refresh the screen, it's gonna take you to the DVWA. You see there's a lot of error, there's some stuff is not ready yet. I'll tell you how to fix it, don't worry about that. Let's carry on. Check everything completely, what you're looking for, read it carefully, and we'll go to the next step. So now check out your database setup, try to create a database i'm sure you're gonna get this kind of error on the bottom but don't worry about that just read it make sure you understand what's the message saying so try to see as well what's the username and the password you're gonna use for your database setup so check any error or anything is disabled and the next step i'll show you how to fix this problem open your config file and try to view it to see exactly what's contained inside so you open it with uh, using notepad of course and then uh, you see exactly what file you're looking for to solve those issues so first of all you change your password and make sure that you put root as a, a as a user and the password you put empty because uh, if you put any password it's gonna cause any trouble so I change this to root and I leave the password empty and save my file and close it once you refresh again you will see there's a lot of change and now you can create your database Once you refresh your screen, you see the username which I admin and the password as a password. Access to it and check everything around. So basically, everything is ready to go, but the certain stuff you need to make sure is running properly. For example, for the database. So what you need to do now to fix some little of the error you can see there on the setup check, you go to your some control panel, go to PHP file notepad and check out what you're gonna change 
as according to what you can see on my screen now. Once you change it from off to on and uh, restart again your your uh, uh, PHP and MySQL, you see all the error gone disappear. So you gotta stop it and restart again. Once you refresh, you'll notice that where it was disabled, it became enabled. So basically, try to play around with it, and uh, you can see that. Everything is going to be easy. The more you're doing it, the more you understand uh, how to work on DVWA. That being said, we're going to finish our video right now. So, the video was about how to install DVWA, then variable web application on Windows. The DVWA is a great platform for both beginners and advanced user because of it you got a multi-layer security support so if you want to go to get into cyber security and uh, do all the penetration testing this is the place to be so thank you very much for watching my video and uh, see you to the next video to come so we got plenty more coming yay